Hello data lovers so welcome back to the part 4 of SQL Interview Pro 2.0 series and again today we will be solving few more really cool questions of SQL for interview preparation so make sure to practice it along with me and also do check out the previous videos of this series if you haven't watched it yet also you can solve these SQL questions completely free on Code Studio platform by Coding Ninja link is given in the description so let's get started. All right. So this is the first problem statement classes with more than five student categories medium. So we will be given a table named as a student and we need to print this table as a result. And here we can see, please list down all classes which have more than or equal to five students. So this is the data and we need to print the class name, which is having equal or more than five students. So seems like a very easy solution. Just a simple group by is needed. Nothing more than that. And we will do it with the help of group by and having clause. So select class from student table group by class having count star greater than or equals to five means we have done the group by on the class column and group for each class math computer bio english will be created and here in the having clause we are checking if any class which is having counts means the number of records greater than and equals to five only those will be included in this one the final result which we are having so let's execute it oh my bad i guess the table name is something else uh table courses all right sorry for the mistake cool so this was the expected output the class and math as a result so let's move on to the next question. So this is the next question friend request. So here we will have a table named as friend request. It will have the sender ID, send to ID, request date. There is no primary key. It may contain duplicates. This table contains the ID of the user who sent the request to the ID to another user and the date of the request, like the way you send the request in the Facebook, uh, this kind of platform and the request accepted. So this is the column where requester ID, acceptor ID and accept date means who was the requester who accepted that and what was the uh, accept date. Write an SQL query to find the overall acceptance rate of the requests, which is the number of acceptance divided by the number of request. So return the answer rounded to two decimal places. So let's read the note. The accepted requests are not necessarily from the table friend request. In this case, you just need to simply count the total accepted request, no matter whether they are in the original request or not, and divide it by the number of requests to get the acceptance rate. It is possible that a sender sends multiple requests to the same receiver and a request could be accepted more than once means the duplicacy part because in these two tables records can be duplicated so if we look at the data itself right the sender and send to id and requester and acceptor id so this is how this pair is repeated multiple times so this line says that we need to consider it only once means this type of pair if it like let's say one comma two if it is repeated multiple number of times in this table we should consider it only one for the count part so in this case, the duplicated request or acceptance are only counted once. If there are no requests at all, you should return zero as the accept rate means the no request if this table is completely empty. So let's try to solve this one. Uh, so here you can see the unique accepted request. So if you just check the distinct count of pair, so this is one pair, this is second pair this is third pair and this is fourth unique pair and here in total five total request so if we try to calculate the acceptance rate the total count of accepted request will be divided by the unique friend request 
and it will be somewhere like 0 0.80 so let's try to solve it so what we will do first we will create two temporary tables to have this count and then we will use it in the final query to populate this value so select first let me make it with a as select count star from select distinct sender id comma send to id from friend request and we'll name it like as tmp1 so this will be calculated if i quickly print it so select star from a so total friend request count is 5 which we wanted and we will name it like as unique request and now we will populate b as and that will be same query like this and there will be a only change of acceptance table so request accepted and here it will be requester id requester id and acceptor id acceptor id and this will not be the column name it will be the table name actually so request accepted will make it tmp2 something and we'll name it like as x accepted request so this is how these two tables will be populated so if again i print the table a we will see 5 now if i only print table b so here we will get the accepted request is equals to 4 so now this will be the i i guess uh, tricky part where you are thinking that how we can calculate this division part where I need to divide this number with this number so for this one it can be done with the help of Cartesian join uh, kind of uh, logic so for this one what we are going to do we are going to take both of the table and we'll pick the columns from these two tables and we'll divide it and also we will put the condition for this part where the unique request count is actually zero so kind of case when statement it will be so case when a dot unique request count equals to zero then it should be round zero comma two else it should be b dot accepted request and multiply it by 1.0 to make it float divided by a dot unique request and this entire value should be enclosed for the round function because we need to take it till two decimal places and here it will be from a comma b so now let's execute it and what name we need to give it let's say acceptance rate as end as acceptance rate so let's execute it so here we are getting 0 0.80 so I think uh, the proper output format is not written and mentioned here but uh, as per the query whatever we are supposed to do it should look like this so idea is pretty much simple here this part is uh, very straightforward I guess the main trick uh, which you might be thinking for will be this so this is how you can solve this problem after taking the cross type of join so that these values can come together 
and this logic will be really really helpful if you encounter any other numerical type of sql query where you need to play around the numbers from two different queries so that's what i had for this video i know it's pretty short video consisting only two questions but you'll definitely enjoy solving the second question and let me know your thought in the comment section as well if you are able to get that trick or not so like and share this video for better reach and also subscribe to the channel and press the notification icon and i will see you guys really soon with another part of sql interview pro series so till then keep exploring data